is up everybody and welcome back to my channel happy sunday or whenever you are watching this but if you're watching it when it comes out happy sunday hope you're having a great weekend i hope your football team or your husband's football team is winning woo go sports welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is katie i live in orlando florida and i make like shop with me videos home decor videos anything to do with like target home goods um clean with me cleaning motivation decorate with me all of that good stuff so if you love videos like that definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and definitely there's like a car going by me like so slow but anyways if you love videos like that definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below today's video is a home goods shop with me i'm really excited about today's video this is actually my old home goods i've lived in a couple different parts of orlando and this is my old home goods and it's usually on point this is where i got like most of my ray dunn collection and i don't know why but like i feel like i'm about to make like a big purchase like i i'm having this like internal gut feeling that like i needed to come here that they're gonna have something i'm gonna want for our apartment because as you know if you watch any of our other videos i have been insanely apartment shopping that doesn't even make sense but i've been shopping incessantly i've been shopping a lot for our new apartment and i've looked at everything online in stores um, but i'm just having a hard time committing because i'm not finding anything that i really really love i've gotten i think maybe one or two things um but we still need a lot more stuff i'm just trying to like cover up my shirt because i accidentally got polynesian sauce on my shirt you know sometimes you just need to eat a chick-fil-a chicken sandwich and like remind yourself who you are i you know, unfortunately, I'm not perfect, and my life is not perfect, and you know, sometimes a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich can just <laughs> help you feel better on days that you're in a funk. But you know what else helps me feel better? Shopping when I'm in a funk. But I'm really excited because this Home Goods is also next to a Hobby Lobby. If you watched my last video, you will have seen that I was Hobby Lobby fall clearance hunting. The Hobby Lobby I went to was not a Hobby Lobby I had ever been to, and this is one that I've been to a lot, and I'm hoping that this one has a little bit more. The other one was extremely picked over, I only went the day after everything went on clearance and everything was already gone. So we might pop into this one and maybe I'll include those clips in here um, and I will see if they have anything. I definitely want to pop in there though and if there's stuff worth noting, I will definitely go ahead and put this in the vlog. But I won't keep blabbing. Let's go inside and let's get shopping. Okay, maybe my hunch was right. I have not even made it into the store yet and I already found this like table and chair set. This would be perfect for outside on our patio and for both chairs and the table. It's only $99. Okay, I also just found this like, I think it's like a buffet type thing. I haven't even looked inside. It just has like a shelf. It's freaking perfect. It's white on top with like this really cool like black design and gold handles. It is $179. I don't exactly know like what we would use it for, but it's literally perfect. Remember when I just said before I came in, like I felt like this home goods was gonna have good stuff? Well, I haven't felt like that before and this home goods has so much good stuff like I gotta show you this coffee table it's amazing and it's on clearance so this coffee table it's like textured I'm obsessed with it it looks like one I've been looking at from CB2 and this one is on clearance for hundred and sixty dollars the sign is giving me like major Taylor Swift vibes so that's great if you are a fan of her music you'll know the song and then I really like this maybe for our guest bedroom for like above the bed. I feel like that is really cute. It always makes me laugh so hard when I find hidden Ray Dunn in the store. Like if you want it, just buy it. This little wicker side table is really cool. It has like glass on the top, open underneath, but it's really, really cool. I like it a lot. This desk is really cool. It's like a live edge desk and like has some like natural imperfections but it's really cool it's like a light gold hardware with the legs this is really really nice this is amazing too it's like a made in india piece and it's kind of like a nightstand but i also think that it could be like a filing cabinet because of these things i'm trying to see if they have another one of these because i'm would absolutely buy these i really like this little like end table I think it's really pretty it's forty dollars i like it i don't really know i don't think we could use it for anything but i really like the look of it okay i came back and like pulled this out because brian really really likes it and he's not here there are like a couple little like dings with it and it does have like a little crack right here so pretty sure i could get it at least like 10 percent off because it's damaged 
but it's smaller than it looks on camera it's only 36 inches wide by like 30 inches tall so I don't really know like what we would use it for but Brian is obsessed with it they also have this one which is really really pretty this one is 200 it's like similar in size to the other one but honestly like I have to measure it but I just like these little rings it's nice and it's soft clothes Ooh. oh my gosh this is kind of fun I have a little like oh I have a table in my cart, like a little table. And so I can prop you guys up. Also, I wouldn't recommend, nose itch, wearing a mask without washing it first because they're very itchy. This is like a satiny type one. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but it's like really thick and really itchy. But anyways, this Home Goods has so much good stuff. Like. I have to get more into like showing you guys everything. I kind of just did like another, like a full lap around the store. And yeah, they have a lot of good stuff. Maybe I should always have a positive mindset going into making these because maybe I'll always find good stuff. It's so hard times like this when you find a lot of good stuff because Brian's not here. So I'm trying to show him with like pictures and videos and stuff, but like he really wants to be here. So that makes it tough. Why can't this be like a full size coffee table? It's like this tiny, I don't, I really truly don't even know what you would use this for. Cause this is like a little tiny like step stool type thing. So I really don't know what you would use this for but I really wish it was like a full size coffee table because it's perfect with like the gold and the wood on top. I wish I was like a witch so I could like say a spell and make it full size. Hello. <laughs> I really like the shape of this mirror. I just measured it. It would fit on the wall that we want to put it on, and it's really cool. This mirror is $70, and it's really nice. I really like this little, like, dog food stand for water and food. I like the wood color and just, like, the detailing of it. I'm trying to see if they have two of them because that would work better for us with three dogs. We could do two foods, two waters, and just keep them filled. All of our dogs honestly just graze and like eat whenever they feel like it. We just keep their bowls full all the time. It's been hard having several dogs in the house. They like all eat different food, but once we're back like in our... <laughs> Someone keeps squeaking a dog toy. Once we're back in like our own space, I know it'll be better because they can just graze and eat when they want. Right now it's like a eat or be eaten kind of environment, so <laughs> soon enough they can just eat when they want and we can have fancy little food holders like that. Also, the results are definitely in from my at home video, the full home decor store tour. <laughs> what? That was the most ridiculous sentence. I was so surprised to see how many of you guys were like team comforter and like hated duvets. I definitely think they each have like their own pros and cons and I was also surprised to see how many of you guys said like you use a quilt. Um, I'm definitely gonna like just keep looking. I feel like I'll probably go for a comforter because the washer in our new apartment doesn't have an agitator in the middle. So it makes it way easier to wash it because it's not gonna get caught in anything and the agitator honestly just like ruins like clothes and blankets and stuff. And so because ours won't have that, it makes me lean towards more just getting a comforter. I feel like it's honestly so much easier to wash. But I just wanted to say that the results were in and they were shocking results if you ask me. Now I am in the like blanket aisle. Just kind of looking at all the different ones. These Kate Spade ones are a really good deal. They're oversized and they're 68 by 90 for only $20, which I think is a great deal. And they're also super, super soft. So I'm just kind of looking at all the different colors they have. I'm probably gonna go ahead and pick up one of these because you can just never have too many blankets. I absolutely love this one. It's 90 by 90, but the color is a little bit weird. It's like a mossy green color. So I'm not gonna get that, but I'm trying to find that in a neutral color. They have these Ray Dunn blankets. I know these are really popular and they have three different varieties here. I'm not gonna pick them up, but I just wanted to show them to you guys because they currently have them in stock at my home goods. They have a lot of cute Ray Dunn like bathroom items that I haven't seen before. Honestly, I haven't been keeping up with Ray Dunn that much, so it's just new to me, not necessarily new. Okay, if you've been following my other videos, you know we're on the hunt for a laundry basket. This one is so nice. It's like lined on the inside. I wish that it didn't say anything on top but it's really, really nice. 
and it is $40, but it's just so nice. The hinges on the inside are super nice. I texted a picture to Brian, so we'll see what he says. The jury is in. We both don't like that it says something on top, so I'm gonna pass. Literally never in my life would I have guessed it would be this hard to find a laundry basket. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going to the wrong stores. Home goods and at home. So I'm looking at coffee table books, and they have some really good ones. Ones that I want, but like they wouldn't really like look good on our coffee table, but I just want them. I really want this. It is an Hermes coffee table book. It's basically a collection of drawings from this artist for Hermes. And I love Hermes, which is something that I don't think I've ever talked about on here, but I kind of want it. It's like the Hermes, like iconic orange. Mm -hmm. So this is catching my eye actually too, sidebar. It's complete murder mystery night and it's like, a game and like all inside are like all the clues you have to figure out who did it and oh my god it just seems so fun okay back to coffee table books so glamorous living decorating with color which is something i'm afraid to do just so many cool different books audrey hepburn Oh my gosh, my friend just needs this. Ultimate Harry Potter movie quiz. Whoa, this is really cool. This would be such a cool gift. This book would be really, really cool if you have like a really big Star Wars fan in your life. It's like all Star Wars blueprints, like basically how they made Star Wars and you can see like how people got their like makeup done for the movie and just like blueprints of the Millennium Falcon and just like crazy crazy stuff this is so cool like the different Star Wars too like oh my gosh it's just so cool honestly this is <laughs> so relatable I really like this dish drying rack Brian's wanting to get one of those because we do do a lot of the dishes by hand and when it's just the two of us we definitely will even more so that'll be handy to have and then this little wine rack is really cool. I like how it's like the black with the wood. It's super nice. I really like these chairs too. They're like the cane on the back, but they're on clearance because two of them are damaged. There would be like no real way for me to fix them and they're still $108 a piece, which to me is not worth it. This little entertainment center or entertainment console is really nice too. It's like dark brown with gold accents. I like that a lot. It has like more subtle details too, but it's really nice. Okay, this piece of furniture is literally epic. So from the outside, you're like, oh, I don't know what it is. But then when you open it, it's like where you could keep like, it's like a bar set up. So like all wine glasses, maybe bottles, like bottles of alcohol, bottles of wine, and like all the other like serving stuff maybe could go in here. Like this is so Stunning. The price of it is 600. These would make a cute gift. They come already in the box. You just have to like take the bottom out of it and just throw it in the box and they make a perfect gift. Okay, we are headed out of home goods and I am gonna go over to Hobby Lobby, but I'm literally dying of thirst. So first we're gonna go get a sip of water from my car. Hobby Lobby is two stores over. I had every intention of walking, but now that I'm like sitting in my car, I'm like, I can just drive. I think I'm gonna drive. Okay, so this one has a little bit more stuff than yesterday. I'm gonna have to kind of sift through and see like what is labeled what, so I make sure I pick up stuff that is only 80% off. But the first thing that's catching my eye is this piece of garland it is absolutely stunning perfectly the colors that i love for home decor if this is 80 percent off i'm getting it okay so i grabbed this garland i'm like 99 percent sure it's part of the sale and if it's 80 dollars, if it's 80 percent off then it is going to be 16 dollars, which is a steal okay so i'm freaking pumped about that garland I am gonna go ahead and do a lap around the store to see if there's any other fall clearance that's 80% off. But if not, that was a success in my eyes. They have like 50 million aisles of items for the spring shop. Like it's even more than in my last video of spring shop items. 
but I'm just doing a lap around the store to see if they have any other fall clearance items and I'm sorry that my mask keeps falling down please don't yell at me in the comments I'm sorry so here's like some clearance but this stuff is a lot of like damaged stuff and then these are mostly just like picture frames and it's not labeled like with the fall clearance so if there is any it's not here okay I'm thinking it's a similar situation to the last store that that wall over there and this floral stuff is all they have left okay yep I confirmed with the employee that the only stuff they had was the stems and then the stuff I showed you in the beginning I am gonna go ahead and pick up this string of garland I'm really excited about it. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it next year so I'm really really excited about it alrighty you guys that is gonna be it for me today I hope that you liked today's video I was a little bit more successful with fall clearance and I feel like I found a lot of really really cool stuff at home goods but that is gonna be it for me today I will be back on Tuesday with a brand new video and a brand new series so it's gonna be a video you've seen from me before but now it's gonna be a new series and a weekly thing and I'm really excited to tell you guys all about it on Tuesday so definitely make sure you are subscribed by hitting the subscribe button down below give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you next time bye guys